over to Dia and Lee. Yay. Thank you, Chris. Well, Chris. we're already getting some recipes from Lexington's newest eatery, The Lockbox. That's right. Executive Chef Jonathan Cyril joins us with how you make red pepper jelly. It yeah. smells great. It Making red pepper delicious. jam today for you. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit how to do it. All right. So this is one of those recipes for me that just kind of came back from like mom and the little Bible clubs and things like oh, that. Yeah. And the whole idea of kind of gathering together and uh, having a kind of interactive experience at the table, something mm -hmm. just kind of down to earth. So I kind of put this jar plate together, but a piece of that that I really enjoy is this pepper jam. Okay. So what I have in here already going for you is the juiced peppers. We're taking these bell peppers, about six of them. Can we tip it a little bit so yeah. we can sh show sure. everybody? Yeah, see we've look got, how beautiful so that color is. We've blended these peppers up for you, okay. and we've so it kind of gets to be a juice. And then we bring it up with a little apple pectin, and okay. then we start adding in sugar. Okay. There we go. Got the sugar there. A couple tablespoons of butter okay. going yeah. in there. Now, suppose people are like sugar sensitive. Can we use some of this like stevia and all oh, that sure. kind of stuff? Oh, sure. Yeah, we okay. could totally do that. Okay. All right. Um, we just need a sweetening agent to kind of balance it all out. A little okay. red chili flake. You can put about as much of this as, in as you'd like, okay. just based on the heat, because this is a sweeter jelly. Okay. And there's a little apple cider vinegar in there too, oh, just okay. to kind of brighten it up for you. Yeah, right. So we're going to let that. What does that do? The apple cider vinegar. What it does just, that bring? It, it adds the acid, the flair. When you so when okay. you're eating it, you kind of get this uh, sweetness coming through, and then a pop, pop. on the palate right. there. It's really nice right. and bright. Kind of livens everything up. So we're going to let that cook up. And it goes for about 10 minutes once it hits the boil, and then you chill it down, and it gets that jelly type texture. Okay. But I brought some more. So when we're ready to do it in the service or in the restaurant here, we go ahead and put it in piping bags. We've made a nice lemon cream cheese here as well. <laughs> yeah. Because that's how mom would have done it, but she would have right. just put out the cream cheese on the plate right. and sure, dolled it right on top. Sure, sure. Yeah. We're going to pipe it right on top there. Oh, look at how it looks. It does look like a jelly. Now how long does it take to coalesce and become a jelly? Is it just what, temperature, four, room temperature three, makes that hours. happen? Or really? what? Yeah. Okay. I pop it in the fridge okay. and after I bring quicker. it up. Okay. Yeah, I activate, you boil it and activate the pectin and then let it go in the fridge and give it a day. Now, are hours. we dipping it or are we serving it on top of meat or what are we doing? We are going to put it on these lovely crackers. So once finished here, I have um, uh, chicken liver mousse, okay. a pimento cheese we do in house in this liver jam or in this uh, jelly. We've got a little house pickles here. We made our own house made saltine crackers in our own uh, buttermilk biscuits well, are nothing right but there. rave yeah. reviews so far for Lockbox, which is located inside the beautiful 21C Museum Brand Hotel. New. And for more information or make reservations, call these guys 859-899-6860 or log on to LockboxLex.com. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. We great. will be <laughs> right you. back with Thank today's you, winner of Kentucky Crafted Market.